coding, it doesn't matter. So welcome in again, guys. Day two of the coding. Oh no, Python coding <laughs> bootcamp, and with self dev and. Um, we will just have the agenda and start with some demo and then go down the algorithms, some Q&A and then the, the next steps for the next week. And Arth, um, are you prepared to show the demo and so we can tell them what awaits them after we figured out how to code and how to use some tools so we just get some more motivation? Uh, you just want me to show you, show them what I showed you yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Just show them like, um, like just just break down why we are doing this. Show them what we have done so far, and that's it. Just like five minutes or so, or like maximum of five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So just check out the stream, guys. So you can. Can you see my uh, screen? Take it. Wait. Yeah, it's loading. Yeah. Uh, or right, maybe so, yeah. Yeah. So what we have so far is um, we are actually inputting some keywords and based on that we are get, uh, getting videos recursively. So what that means is we are just inputting some keywords and getting uh, as many videos as we can. And zoom in, the goal zoom is in. to, oh, right. Yeah. And, the, and our goal is to find a trend or more <laughs> how a video did so good or oh, more. Yeah. Yeah, who you is demanding. Okay, All perfect. Right. Let's go. So, uh, how this how this is working so far is um, like I'll give the table a name. Uh, what do you guys want me to search about first? Let's become some queries. Just do um, Python programming. Oh no, do your video, man. Do your video. Like go with bunches yeah, or that. whatever that was. So. Let's go with Bunjs, right? And I'll just run the script. And I will stop it manually because I didn't add a limit. <laughs> yeah, guys, you don't need to understand this. We just want to show you something. All this, all this is just um, too much already. We just want to show you something. Like uh, we have this text file where we have some uh, some keywords in. And what um, Arth is doing right now, he's just going into YouTube and he basically is going into the search bar and writing this uh, word which we wrote into the text file. And then it just um, returns all the videos which um, are written on YouTube. And then we get all of the titles and information of each video in, uh, into our database. And that's our goal uh, of automation or just to give you some taste of automation. Yeah, so this is like um, the database. You don't need to understand what, what all, all that is. It's just like um, the the place where we stored all the data. Uh, and Arthur is now just uh, showing them. But this is... Um, this is... Wait, wait, if it's going to stop. Oh, yeah, maybe you, you should uh, format the output and make it look a little bit yeah, more yeah, cleaner because right. now everybody's like, what the heck is this, man? Yeah, just wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it shows the title of the the, the the video, the view counts and the channel. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Based on the keyword, for example. Now we did uh, something. Wait. Um, ah, maybe we can take a word which everybody knows, but uh, just just do it right now. Now, okay. So you can see oh, here, shit. there's a list on the left side. There's a huge list. Wait, what is this now? Uh -huh. What are you doing, Ah? Wait, wait up. Uh, what was the command again for for ordering ordering the? Topic? No, that's it. That's it already. But you have to put the limit at the end. I see. Yeah. Limit fifty, for example. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, um, distinct, very... distinct, distinct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now you can see this table here and it says title, view count, and channel name. And now we just get uh, got all the music, like the top music yeah. videos. And that's so, all automated. No, okay. but the thing is, I actually wrote bun, bun JS. But yeah, you, you is, have, this is some yeah. bug, but it doesn't matter. No, no, we don't need to discuss this. 
this is pro this pro this is probably because it's a gesture from bun to something else and then this yeah it's but because of the, the keyword uh yeah but we yeah. just wanted to show the uh process how how it looks like when you have something running and then you go through all of this you know this is like when you know how to code you get to this point okay so that's it actually thank you off and we are continue working yeah. on that together and we will put it all into a server so it can run uh 24 7 but that's just some kind of um um how to say it like vision for you so you can see what's happening okay and now we will just go back to our agenda which we had before and this is here on top so this was just the motivational demo or uh, <laughs> a demo to um discourage you however you want to take this um and now we'll just break down some basic algorithm um algorithms and yeah, so we'll just go into this um, logbook, which I have here. So guys, if you don't know this one, this is our logbook uh, where I just write down what we did last time and what we will do now. Okay. And yeah, so um, I told you uh, something which we are going to do today. And those are like the basic algorithms and the for loops and then all the data structures. But we also want to get uh, your hands on um the tool which we are going to use especially for snow because snow uh, doesn't know how to use ides right now and guys you also can talk if you have any questions um especially um tess and snow probably um can you tell me uh if you already know how to use um visual studio code or pycharm the editor you know Okay, so I what you have to do just for txt files normally. Okay, yeah, no problem, no problem. So what you have to do is you have to go to PyCharm, but you are if you haven't done it, then click on download. It it's uh, download downloadable for Mac and for um, Windows, and then you can just install it. Just click through it, and also uh, tick on all the boxes which say install something into your path or so which is super important so you can use it without having any issues okay also money i don't know if you use this one but um that's my uh, my to go ide okay and now i will go and open my pycharm pycharm Boom. okay but give me a second maybe i, I have some keys which nobody should see again <laughs> Okay, so, um, um, yes, I'll just open new projects and then I go back to the screen. But can you all see my screen, by the way? Not that I'm talking about this all the time and you actually don't know what <laughs> we're doing uh, here. Demo long. Yeah, I can see your screen. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. New window. Just now, just now. Early on my stream pie chart. Perfect. Okay, look. Um, I think now it should be visible. Okay, so when you Maybe. open PyCharm, um, Isaac, do you, do you use uh, PyCharm or Visual Studio Code uh, intensively already, or uh, did you I'm just using try VS it? Code. Just okay, try so you know how to it. to do that already. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Um, wait. Let me get back to the chat. Uh, Tess and Snow. It's, it's for you guys now. Um, can you follow me? Can you open your screen so you can see what's happening? Or just follow it? I don't know how, what's best for you. Um, but this is like the starting point for you. When you open this one, you have like two windows, which are your main, uh, main areas where you um, execute something. And the first one is just your um, area where you have your whole file structure, okay? Like on MacBook, you have your Finder, and on Windows, you have your Windows Explorer, right? And here we just have um, this file tree where you have all your files which you use. It should look uh, something like this. Can you confirm? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, and uh, what we always do is um, we need a file to write our code, right? Because you have done this in your terminal before, probably, which looks like this, for example. 
and then uh, you just can write something here and then you probably have written Python and then it started something like this if you can see that can uh, I, I don't know if you can see that and money um, I don't know how far you already got and what you use um, but just let me know when you have any questions okay um, test and snow so this is like just the normal place right where you uh, used to do that I don't have the part on the bottom um, yeah no worries I just wanted to show you you don't need to have that part yet <laughs> okay I just want to show you the area actually I just wanted to show you what you used before because snow used um, the other IDE which looked exactly like the terminal which I just opened and now um, yeah, just go back to this area. So on the left side, it's all your files which you use and on the right side, it's your code. Okay, so this is a little bit more structured and ordered so you can have all everything um, visible on in one in one view. That's basically it. Was my voice better by the way? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, okay, so what we have here right now is like when you open a new file, it actually should be empty. But I just opened a new project. That's why it, it says something already. OK, so and um, now we just go down through some algorithms and let me go back to Discord. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. <laughs> um, so this is the thing. So we have like this. Uh, I don't know if you checked all of that. Um, did you practice with that already like if conditions for and while loops or if I ask you what are, what is the difference between a for and while loop can you can you tell me that guys or the difference between list and sets or tuple something like that can you um, give me some feedback so I know where we actually start uh, so the if and for and while is not a problem that's pretty um, I, I pretty well know that from C uh, list maybe would take me a minute, uh, sets tuples, uh, I don't know if I already worked with that, I s did dictionaries one time, so basically I think I would get it. Okay, what about you Isaac and Monet and Snow? Um, I'm not completely understanding the else. The what? Like, I get the... Uh, the the well, the index loop right is everything that's within that bracket right but like the index else is what what would uh, the, the loop the loop right for index loop right yeah okay is it, is it, yeah wait like, like why why does why does it print the else also at the same time is it okay for example, here. The wrong example um yeah. which one are you talking about are we talking about the if conditions or the uh, loops the loops loops, loops. Okay, which which loops like for loops or uh, while loop, or can you give me some example uh, because we also just can go here, and maybe I even can ask you guys and see if you actually understand everything. Okay, because this now hands on and you also I'm need to do that. Understanding most of like that. Every, okay. I don't think I understand everything. Understand the the loop part that's in the range. I will make it a sure little bit L's. bigger. Give me a second. Settings. Font. Font to. 50 maybe boom oh shit okay now this this was not good <laughs> oh shit that was gigantic and no i'm not exactly blind <laughs> okay maybe i should go to the font of the um editor here oh no this is a little bit too big um where is the editor font is this this one oh yeah i think this you one can, you can scroll with your mouse control and scroll yeah sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work uh here it doesn't work on windows for me oh, i think it's alt instead of control uh, let me test 40. i need to close that nothing happens one Okay, doesn't matter. We we got it now. Okay, guys, you can see my uh, screen, right? Wait, I need to because I, I don't hear you guys, so I have to check <laughs> the yeah, chat. Yeah, we can, yeah. <laughs> I do see. I do see. No, it's always so funny. Yes, perfect. Okay, so look at this. Uh, normally, when you have you start with a file, okay. So you need to if you don't have a file, just right click here, and then click on file, 
a new file or Python file and then just write anything like normally most files start uh, start with the name main.py and then you can just create it but I al already have one so I just leave it like that okay so if you don't have that now just do it so you can follow me with this one and then we just uh, go down this example here for loop oops oh yeah my screen is a little bit shaking because of my effect <laughs> let me turn this off actually uh, but guys, can you follow so far? Um, yes. MP yes. file is open. Yeah, no worries, no worries, guys. What the heck is this, man? Oh my god. Power mode. Well, let me just turn this off quickly. Oh yeah, and welcome to Windows. You see how fast it works for me. That's why I love Windows so much. It's perfect. Damn, not lost. Amazing. Windows right Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, we have to stick with this guy, sorry. Anyways. We just start with this example, okay? Oh my god, what is happening now? Oh my god. Okay. So we have this for loop right now. And now um, I think this is one of the most important um, algorithms here in, um, in while you code actually. And so I just want to know, um, everybody of you knows what this code is doing, right? Or don't you know? Just let me know. Yeah. Okay, so what, what will it yeah. do? I don't know long. What is print? What does print do? Blazer, I'm not asking you, man. You, asking for them. no, 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 you lean back and just watch. I don't know what print is. Explain to me. See, she's asking because I know. <laughs> no. Check the chat. Yes. Sure? I'm reading. I'm reading. So. No, it's, guys. it's actually asking us. Long as a bad teacher. Thank you, Arth. Maybe you want to take over. Okay, guys, I think I need more feedback. Isaac, uh, you had a question f uh, before with this else or something. Um, so what I'm, I'm understanding is that in this one, for the right, right, print i, it will mean that if, if i is in the range of n, at 0 and n, which is in this case n is defined as 4, so therefore we will print i. So yeah, exactly. Like I think this I. this example is a little bit um, a little bit hard because um, you don't understand yet what range, for example, is doing. That's why I'm just um, between one between zero and four, right? Which is in this case. Like. Yeah, uh, I just printed for you. Look at this. When you do okay. it like this, and uh, oh. because n was four right here, so I just print it yeah. here. And does anybody know what will get returned now? Zero to three. Zero to three. Okay, let's check. So I'll just run the code. Um, Snow, what you need to know is when you write something here, you have a button here on the top right, which is green, and it says run. So it goes into your code and reads it from top to to bottom, and then it just does everything which you are doing, okay? Or you just can press right. shift Where's F10 the here on, on the top right. Oh no, you can't see uh, it because it's, it <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, it's too zoomed in on your side. I was uh, like super confused. Oh yeah, true. Wait, let me uh, change this a little bit. Um, I think it's on your screen, the OBS. Yes, yes, yes it's OBS. OBS. I have to transform it. Yeah. Reddit transformation. Okay, hello. Uh, okay, it's this one. Transform. Okay, now you should see it. Good call, guys. Good call. I also move my head a little bit to the left or something, right or something. Wait, how can I take my head here? Oh my god, I hate this. Man, we're not so slow today. Please. Uh. Okay. Okay. What is this? Why is my screen back to this size? It doesn't make sense. 
Okay, wait. Okay, I need to transform. But guys, did you find the button? Long. Yeah, uh, just move on. I sent a screenshot from mine. So when you say it, we'll just send a screenshot. Okay, now you can see it probably. Did you even hear Thanks. it? Did yeah, I, I hear it. But they still don't know uh, where it is. That's why I just wanted to make it look like this. Is so it should be here on the top. Sir? Yeah, but it's a fraction, man. It's it's small. They still don't know if it's on the top left or right or somewhere. Top right, people. Blazer, we have yeah. to assume the worst. So don't assume anything, man. You know that. But yeah, that's the play button. Here's on the top right, okay? So if you write something and you press it, that's uh, what uh, will just get executed, okay? So I'll just press it and now let's see what will get printed. So you can see uh, it just prints range 0 to 4. What does it mean? Guys. Okay, yeah, that, that's a little bit um, hard to understand. Uh, maybe we make it a little bit easier, like uh, we start with a variable, okay? Yes, it's a list. Um, Snow and Tess, have you worked with a list already? Like you, you know what what happens when I do this, right? Um. Yeah, just not in this language, but yes. Yeah, when I do it, it becomes an arrow. Uh, what kind of arrow did you get? And what is this? Yeah, I just need to catch you guys. Shift F10 also is run. Yes, send screenshot of code. Yeah, maybe you can send some screenshots, Snow, when you do uh, when you have an error or so. Uh, hashtag is for comments. It won't run. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. My laptop is lagging. Yeah, no worries, no, no stress. Um, okay, Isaac. Um. Do you know what range is? Between something. Yeah, okay, it makes sense. You are talking from a from a no, non-coding <laughs> language. But uh, yes. be, when you do that, you always have to understand, like, you, you need to call the objects by its name, okay? Oh. And, and that's why uh, you, uh, you need to say it's a list or it's an object or something. Oh, it's, a, li it's a list. Yeah, because we have on uh, this uh, those two uh, brackets here, and then it just creates uh -huh. a list. Like when we write down uh, like all the people in this Discord right now, and then it just writes all the people into this list, and you can create one by just writing this one. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, and it's now we just have this it. list, and you see now we just start here. I just uh, write something here zero dot. And then when I write here, A, for example, do you know what will happen? It just prints. Wait, no, it, it prints the entire thing, print A. Yeah, will it print like everything at the same time or will it just print one by one? Line for line. Oh, really? Okay. Moni says line by line. What about you guys? One, two, Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. Um, Snow, what about you? Uh, did you uh, manage something? Wait, no way. Or is it caught okay, in I'm an endless wrong. loop? I tried to send screen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Hold up. So let, let me check this. Look. Now it, it prints this one. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you get why? This is a spot. Sport right now. <laughs> uh, those questions are making me sweat. Okay, we see this high pie charm. N name name is not defined. Did you mean name? Oh, interesting. It looks like you're running um, some code, which you have written before because I I remember that code. Um, Snow, so can you send a screenshot of your code as well, maybe? But uh, money. Let's go back to you. Is this what you expected that it printed in, in uh, like line by line? No, I thought it's going to be 
below each other. Exactly. You probably thought it will be but, like this. But I'm thinking of the here. yeah, the normal brackets, yeah. Exactly. Look, this this is this is a very good example right now which we can cover so you understand the whole uh, code even more. Um Okay, uh, I can see Snow's um, problem here right now. You can see this is a screenshot which he posted here, which says n equals 4, blah, 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 like the same code which I have. And you can see yeah. the error says something like, hi, PyCharm, print name, name is not defined. And now the question is, what is this error? And here's one thing which you really have to learn, okay? When you get an Fishers. error, when you get an yeah. error, guys, don't go back to the code and try to fix something just by removing something which you did before or something. Because the, the error, the code is talking to you. And that's what most people don't do. They don't read the code or, or the, the error message. You understand? That's super important. Should and, say the file. Uh, yeah, the, she's probably running the uh, uh, wrong file or something because um, she probably um, used this somewhere else and PyCharm has this ability or this um, uh, this feature that it just uh, say remembers where you actually have written your first line of code or your files and then it, if you run it it runs the same file as you can see here on top can you see this it says main here for me can you see that hmm. here Uh, Snow, this yeah. is probably your problem because as you can see, I have just one file here. But if I go back and say I will write another file, another, no, I just write long.py, okay? And you see this is another file and this is here. And now I can go here back and say I will uh, edit it and say I don't want to run main, but I want to run long. So I just write long.py here. And uh, that's the problem. Um, that, what, what happens when I press play now? Can anybody tell me? Money, what will happen when I press here? Nothing, because there's no code. Oh, really? But I have some code here. What about you, Isaac? <laughs> no, but, but you're running long. You're not running the... Okay, okay. Uh, I will take this answer. Isaac, what do you say? Well, I can even put uh, both side to side. So what will happen? Isaac. I would say if, if it was supposed to run both main and long at the same time. No. Because it's within the same project, I'm guessing. Even though they wait, wait, no, they two different project. Wait, hold up. Is it two different file or two different project? So can you say that again? I, wait, I'm assuming that it will because you're putting them together, it's either running both main and both long at the same time. No, no, no. Uh, I understand so your way of thinking. Yeah. But it, it doesn't take it's both only... of them. It's just one. And okay. th that's the problem, uh, which you are uh, not like the problem. It's just the way of thinking you have to understand. Like it will ah. just do what you tell it to do. And right now it just says, I will execute long. Man, wow. that sounded wow. wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, I will just execute <laughs> long. And then I play it and you see nothing happened. And as you can see, yeah, it says see. it goes here, blah, blah, blah. And it tries to execute long. Ah, it goes nothing. Yeah, uh, Snow, what is your status? And now what will happen if I do this? Can I do this actually? I just pasted everything here in, 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 in it. It's the same. What will happen now? Now it will run. What will we do? Will it print? Like when I have it exactly like this, how will the output look like? Not be the There's same. going to be two outputs. It's going to be zero, one, two, three, underneath each other, and then the line zero, one, two, three. Okay, Isaac, what do you think? Just now, when you run it, it says that it's zero, and then next line one, next line two, mm -hmm. next line three. And okay, because line, it will print this one, right? A of it. Yeah, it will print I first and print A. Okay, okay, let's test it. So it's exactly what Moni said. It will just go through this first line of code and then uh -huh. it prints everything tap, 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 one by one. Easy, right? And then... It doesn't include, sorry, it doesn't include the last one, right? So it's uh, it's including uh, left border, but not right border. 
What do you mean border? So it's only, when it's only long. It's running only long when it's on the right side. What? Wait, I'm confused. It's what? Only <laughs> running only long dot py which is on the right side. Exactly, so exactly. Side main dot py which is not running right now. Exactly, so because it still says long. But what if I do this now? What will be returned? Will it still execute this or this one? Long or main? Long. Okay, Long. why? Because when you put on top, like next to the play button, that one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You get it, you get it. Executing long. long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't want to say long. it like that. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, man. My chat didn't move, so I was waiting for something. Well, let's check. Um, chat is kind of busy. Uh, you see, snow. You exactly have the problem which we just had. I, I close main. No, just because you close main, main doesn't mean it will close the file, you know? Imagine I close long now and it still says long. I still can run it. You see? If I print it a, a same like this one, for example, okay? This, this actually should go uh, until this number, in, until 11, right? The main file. But long is still until 4, right? So I will just press it. Will it now still run, run long or main? Isaac, what will happen now? Which one? Here. Oh, shit. Sure. In here, it will still run long because it's still selected long on the, on the running console. Okay, let's test it. So what, what will be the output be? Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 as the one that haven't been long. Perfect. Before. Okay, so it let's check this out. Long. It's still the same because long yeah. looks like this and not like this. You understand? Mm -hmm. Well, let's let's check what Snow is doing right now. Um, she has this problem. It says uh, this. Okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, Snow, your code is running actually um, because you pasted your code into main right now. Okay, that's it. So you you just mm -hmm. run your first Python code. Okay. okay. So congratulations <laughs> with uh, this code which we have right now. Uh, and before that you had two files so you just now you know how to actually switch the files and you you also need to be aware of what code you currently are running you know because sometimes and that's the biggest problem which many um, beginners have they just follow a tutorial and then uh, they already started like like this okay and then they, they they wrote their own examples and then they go into a tutorial and then they say okay open new file and then write something else and then they try to run it, but it still does what it did before and they don't understand it. And then they are getting confused and then they get this thought of, oh my God, I'm too stupid for this, man. <laughs> this is so simple. It's the, the first 10 seconds of the video and I can't do this. It's just because uh, they have done something before. So they thought, oh shit, now I can't do this. You get this? So don't get discouraged if that happens to you. Okay, Snow? Also, also for you. That's why. That's why we showed you right now, because um, the uh, focus, the scope of your um, IDE right now, like wh what it's executing right now. Okay. Good that it happened now and not later. Exactly, because m most of the time you do something, and then you you edit it into another uh, file, and then you run your file again, but you forgot to to change it. And then you're like, man, why is my code not working? Why is it <laughs> repeating the same thing over and over for the, uh, uh, since the last se seven times? Until you realize, oh shit, it was just the wrong file. Nothing like that, okay? So let's go back to this one. But do you have any questions? So far, I'm good. Uh, I, I kind of get the logic behind it. Maybe I'm just not explaining well towards it. But like, I, maybe I'm not worried in it, right? But like, I, I kind of get the logic behind it. For this one uh what, what logic for the for the range and the difference between the a and, the, and that range. oh yeah yeah that's what we are going uh, on now actually because i just yeah. i wanted to uh, the explain the other ones and now um you see uh range now we mm -hmm. just go through range and a list okay this is the thing which we will cover today and as you yeah. know uh you also can put all things in different orders like now uh, you have to, to learn to structure your code a little bit more. So now I just put everything which is a variable on top, okay? Like here. 
And don't forget, if you write a hashtag, it's your comment, uh, so it won't execute. So here I just write my variables. So you all know what variables are, right? Yeah. Snow, variables test. Are... Oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Snow, what about you? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Speak to me. Explain to me. <laughs> mm hmm So, variables basically are placeholders which can get... Um, any object in Python and uh, here we have two different objects and they have specific names okay this one is an integer like my name and this is a list but you also can say uh, oops this is wrong a list of integers and this is wrong integers okay and what we do right now is we have this for example here we also can do like this isaac we say um another a and then we just say range from zero to um four for example instead of n we just remove this one now okay so now we have this mm. do you get it uh, so far just just here we just replace this into this variable instead of writing this range zero comma four we just have this Okay. Did you get this? Okay. Um, Wait, does it mean that it's like I have two I have two a's or like a equals to these two variables? Or yeah, yeah. Mean like now... when you when you print this a right now, it will just uh -huh. take this one. And if you print this one, I, I mean, I just can't call it Isaac as well. It doesn't matter, man. Isaac. Right. It just means it, 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 it means there are two variables, right? One is called like Isaac. One is called a, right? Exactly. And both okay, okay. of them, they contain something else. It's like you have two buckets now. One bucket is called mm. A, one bucket is called Isaac. And now you can work with them. Okay? Yeah, I, got, I, just, I was confused about the wording about another A. I thought it means that it means A, a is now contained. Oh, no, yeah. I was just, uh, it was maybe a bad name. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So uh, now, because we don't have this anymore, we just remove it. So we say for I in Isaac. And now it just re it's the same if you just wrote like this. It's the same. This code here is exactly the same. I just replace mm. this with Isaac. You get it? Because variable is com is equal to you define Isaac as range parenthesis with bracket zero comma four. So this is exactly the same. Basically. Exactly. Unless it's just, change it's just Isaac exactly. variable into something else. Exactly. Yeah. When I say this now, Isaac one, it says you can hover above it, and then it says oh. unresolved reference Isaac. It doesn't exist because Isaac has been changed to Isaac one. You see, okay. the code already is speaking to it and says, "Yo, this doesn't exist." You get it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tess and Snow, you also uh, get it, or do you have questions? No, no, I, I get it. I was just, uh, what I was saying before, uh, didn't really, uh, was what we were discussing at this time, but it maybe uh, comes to it now, is that this range thingy, range function, is including uh, the bottom border when printing, but not imp including the right border, uh, the, the top border. Because uh, I... it's printing 0, 1, 2, 3. And it's border from zero to four, you know. And oh yeah, I, I I will get to this. I will get yeah, yeah, to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that, that was just my question. If this is the same in in Python here. If yeah, yeah, yeah. It the yeah, index okay. starts at zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, no, but. But that's, that's something uh, we will uh, discuss later. Yeah. Okay. Now we just need to understand the principle of this. Uh, and that's why I, I told you I need to figure out where we can start actually um, and then we can go from that point and uh, Isaac uh, wants to to know this one that's why we um, stayed here yeah. which is no problem thanks um, now snow I need to know um, about snow what is happening here hmm A excludes range min max what's happening here no, did you uh, get what we're doing? That's just an explanation for me, what he's writing there. Hmm. 
Yeah, because it just it, it always goes when you have an array or a list, it always goes to the amount of list minus one, you know, because it, it always takes one counter or one index uh, for the uh, number zero. But you also can say start uh, from one, not from zero. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so that, that's just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Snow's, Snow's writing. Um, why the Isaac again? Uh, what what is the exact question? What, why? Snow snow. What 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 was it? Oh oh, oh the variable. Oh never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the variable. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just <laughs> it's pin pins on a name. I can, also can say snow. Right Here, look at this. I can't just search snow. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem because we don't know each other's names. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the problem also is I can't use my name because my name is a, a data type, you know? <laughs> that's a problem. Um, <laughs> and also Snow, man. Snow also is, is, is not a name. It's, it's, it's a word as well. <laughs> and people are like, what is Snow, man? <laughs> what is Snow? Okay, but now you get it. Uh, now I just finished this up. Look, the the thing which you need to understand is like, imagine you want to loop through a list of um, I don't know, uh, one thousand uh, numbers, Isaac. Okay, you want to go through one thousand objects because you have one thousand clients or something. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, how do you create the list? Do you go into Python and do like this? I assume no. <laughs> Wait, is the typing effect a, a part of the thing on Py, PyCharm? Uh, no, that's something I, in, I integrated, but you also can use it in Visual Studio Code. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. But don't get distracted. Uh, okay, okay, so okay, yeah, 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 yes, go, yes. let's go so back uh, so we can wrap range? this up. Um, imagine you have thousands, thousand clients and you want to go through all of them but you don't you are not supposed to to learn coding and then you write all the numbers one by one right it makes no sense uh, and that's uh, why you have something like range this is a python um data structure or not not an algorithm but a, a structure you know that's why i'm i'm, I'm trying yeah. to let you get used to those terms like a structure it's it's a something structure which just um, behaves different than other um, structures, which we also will see in the future, okay? Um, so now, instead of writing all the numbers down, I just can write um, here, um, wait, I need to write something here and say 99, oh no, no, let's say 100 uh, only, okay? 100, and then I have snow or like, uh, no, 100 numbers, no, numbers, 100. This is just my name for the variable right now, okay? So it's not a name of any person. It's just a name I gave it myself right now. Now I go here and write numbers 100 and remove this one and remove this one. What will happen now? We'll print out 0 to 99. Exactly. In, in a row or like next to each other? Each row, uh, one by one. Uh, one by one. Okay, so like this, right? Uh, so let's yes. check this out. Nice, look at this. <gasps> oh. Now we just printed all of them. And now you need to understand, look at this. It starts from zero, okay? So your number zero is the first counter. Okay, that's why. At the end, you only have 80, uh, 98 because it started counting at, at zero. And that's something which you uh, which is uh, very common for uh, programming languages like uh, Python and C, maybe even C++, I don't remember anymore. But uh, that you need to be aware of that because if you want to have 99 objects, you need to write 100 because 100, you always have to take this number and uh, say it's 100 minus 1 and then you get the, the true number of um, objects which you just generated you get it okay because it simply starts I mean, counting at I zero get, 
If I want to get 101, I will need to put 0 and 100. Um, no. Wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, if I want to get, if I, if I want to count to like 101, I will need to put 0 and 102. Uh, no, actually you have to write, um, 100. One. Yeah, exactly, because here you say uh, 100 minus 1 equals 100. Yeah. And that's all the numbers you will get then. Do you oh. see? L let's, let's run this and then you can see this. So let's print it. Boom. And now it says 100. Oh. So I should write 102 for me to count 101. Yeah, let's say here, like this for example, we'd run it again. Boop, now it says 101. Oh, you only counted that, you set that as a limit. Okay, okay, that's Yeah, a that's the limit because you also need to understand range actually is a function, you know? It's a function. It, this is a real term for um, what we call the, the structure, you know? Like the structure, it's actually a function because you also, you can see it's, it's getting called with a bracket. And if you have something with a bracket, it most of the time is a function, like print, but you, but you just simply don't know that, okay? Okay. So the variable is just for ourselves when we code. Nobody sees it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, you also can print the name of the, of the variable, <laughs> but uh, most of the time nobody will see it. Because I also can't just write anything. Like, look at this. I can write, oops. I can write like this. And print it like this and it's exactly the same it's just a placeholder but what you want to do is you don't want to have long names you want to to have ex explainable names you know like for here it would be list of numbers to 100 because if i go into your code right now and i know okay this is a list of numbers to 100 i know okay this is this is it and then i can do it You get it? Okay. So it doesn't matter however you call it. It doesn't matter. But remember, call it in a way that it explains itself. Like what I always do is like I write something like um, list names because I have a list of names or I have a list of addresses. Something like this. That's why you need to, to explain it to yourself because if you just write A, Nobody knows what is A. What is A? Like, you go here, A. What, what is A? Nobody understands. You get mm. it? That's why... So, name a, so make the variable make sense for you to understand. Exactly, exactly. In the beginning, okay. you can make it as long as you want. You can write anything. And what you also need to understand is if you r really write a long name, you need to nice. write underscores. Oh. This is the con name, naming convention. Convention is like a set of uh, rules um, to um, write your code. Is it called convention? I think so. I forgot. Yeah. Perfect. Because Blazor really likes to stick to that. And so I write like long, ultra big numbers. Okay, here, boom. And then I just kind of run it. Boom, we finished. And now, Isaac, this is the last thing which I want to go... Uh, ask you guys if uh da, da, da. um i equals 99 what will happen now what, what was the what was the comma for comma, what, was the, what was the oh shit what was that for what will okay. happen now oh, shit. this is the last question for today it will run. Uh, yeah okay what will what will be, be printed Zero to one oh one. Write your write your uh, return your answer in the chat, guys. Tell me this is the last question for today. What will be returned? Wait, sorry, the Discord is blocking the. the call. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Range one oh two for I equals three. What will be returned? Test snow. I, Please tell I me. I also equals to what? Can I also write? Uh, no. It, it won't print anything, right? This is discrimination. It won't print anything, right? I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit I mean, too tricky. Let's let's do 
This no, may be no cost. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, keep it. Okay, no. I keep, I kept it. I kept it. I kept it. No, the the eco the the eco is like the the makes sense. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo 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 yo. Okay. Yeah, see, okay. I is within the range, so it will pick up because it's equal to one hundred two. But is it within the range range though? Because it caps at wait. Because yeah, I thought because it was like zero to one hundred two, right? Is it goes? It ends at one hundred one, right? Here's a tip for you guys. We didn't change this number, right? And this was yeah. the last number which got printed. Yeah. So therefore, one o two technically isn't technically. Yeah, just range. just write your answer, guys. Write your answer. What is happening? Just write your answer. It, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. So we just want to expose your way of thinking into the expose into me. and compare to the logic. Mm. Just I'll write something. Just write into the chat. Are not are we not allowed to answer? Just answer if you if you uh, listen to it, uh, Darth Tilder, Just write something. <laughs> I hope everyone knows what they are doing, and they're like just like yeah, <laughs> all, all your people <laughs> first time. Darth yep. Tilder. I something, missed the first you. time when I'm learning this. Uh, all, all those people. No, Rose. This is a tricky question. <laughs> I think I have to write this as well. Just, yeah, just don't, don't mind this one. It's just to, to uh, do something. Okay, now let's run it. You also locked in all your something. answers, and it will do this. What will it do? Nothing. It printed nothing. It printed nothing, guys. You know, because I just tested I your understanding of um, the uh, w to understand your uh, way of um, thinking of the um, counter. You understand? Because I told you it will start at zero and goes zero. until this number. And because it's always minus one, the biggest number which will get returned is 101. So because from from zero to one hundred one, those are one hundred two steps already. You get it? Mm -hmm. Those are one hundred two mm -hmm. steps because zero, and then one hundred and one next steps, and then you have one hundred and two counters. And zero that's why is because counter is a one technically. As a exactly number, because itself. it starts at zero, and this is counter one. One is counter is at two. And so on, oh. and so on. And if it's at 101, the counter is at 102. And that's why it, w it will never reach this number. And that's why I will never get this number. But now, imagine this one. I will write 101. Then it will print. What? It will print 101 because it's i equals 101. Oh, really? Let's check this out. Money, it? what do you say? What what will be printed? Wait. Wait, why is it over? Yeah, 101 <laughs> it will then print 0 to 101. Oh wait, it's, oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. It'll, it'll print 101. Wait, no, it'll print 101. It'll print 101. 101. 101, okay? You say 101. Yeah. No, but he said oh really. But Lon said oh really. Oh really? I said it again. <laughs> he always yeah. says that. Yeah man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a, this was really tricky, guys. So let's see. It prints one hundred and one. La la la! You sneaky, you sneaky, you sneaky. Because you remember, it only prints this number if it goes to this number. So right. here, it it never can be any other number. It only can be one hundred one. You see? Yeah. That that, so if I write ninety nine, it will print ninety nine because. It it only does it if i is ninety nine, and then if nine is not i is ninety nine, it will just print ninety nine. Uh, nine, you see. Boom, and that's the logic you have to understand. Okay. Big brain. You see, understanding a for loop itself is easy. Understanding an if condition is easy, but if you combine it together, it gets a little bit more complicated, and you have to rewire your way of thinking. And that's that's programming. 
and that's based all based on logic you see you you you, you notice how much logic we went through here because we always have to mm. save some states in our head like okay we need to understand this is what happened and then this is the next step which happened then we go to the next one it's like a recipe when you cook a uh, bake a cake welcome back uh, snow do you understand this guys one, two, three, four, uh, yeah, four, let four, let me repeat. But uh, we actually are already are over the time because I also also wanted to ask some questions and all this stuff. But uh, the the question thing already uh, like um, it's been covered because uh, the questions only would have made sense if we uh, would have passed all the algorithms which I wanted to go through today. And then you have other questions, right? But while we did that, we also answered your questions. So that's uh, basically it. Um, but we can repeat it again. Maybe one of you can uh, explain it. Monet or Isaac or Tess, I don't know. For Snow. Wait, wait, what, what does it mean on your on the code that you sent? I'm not really getting it. The last item in the list is that there's no length minus one. Oh, yeah, this, this is and is length. Length, yeah. This is just the length. But this is this is a little bit too complicated for you. Don't, don't get confused with that one. It makes okay. sense for Blazer, but for you, you don't need to understand this first. We can do this next time, but for now, it's just to understand, to get a feeling for that. You don't need to understand this. You need to get a feeling, you know? That's what I wanted to show you today. Okay? okay. And I, uh, I will just repeat it quickly for Snow and also for you guys if you are still missing it. Um, so the thing is, we declared, remember this term, guys, it's called declare you have to declare something oh yeah. declare you have to declare a function which is just creating it okay yeah no worries no i'll just explain it again so you declare the uh, declare declare oh declare declare my variables here and then i just have this one but i don't use it so i actually can remove it and now i just write something like uh i will say um s some no, not big. Some numbers. Oops. Some numbers. Which is not a good word, you know. But I just want to show you that you could name it anything. And this name, this variable, this placeholder now gets this. And this range is a function which creates a list of numbers for you from, from 0 to 101. Okay, because it just takes this number as your maximum number. And because if you take all the numbers from 0 to 101, it, those are counted 102. Okay? If that makes sense. I also can reduce the number to 10. To 10. And we have, how many numbers do we have here then? Nine. Nine. It's German. It means no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? Nine. Yes. Nine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now we write a for loop which starts like this. For I in. And now we need to have a list or something. Because the for loop only works if you go through a list. You know? If I just have... um. Like, for example, oh, what? I can show it to you later. So like this, oops, with a uh, colon at the end and print I. Chip. Now, what will happen? Hello? Wait, I, wait, I asking Snow. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. How did the BAM appear? Yeah, same thing. I think it's part of the plugin that, that does the entire shake thing also. That was so cool. <laughs> I'm trying to okay. find a plugin right now. Okay, yeah. 0 to 9. Okay, are they in one line or what, line by line? Line by line. Line by line, exactly. The lime. To, to drink the lime juice. Boom, you see, it returns all of that. And now, uh, if I Oh shit, now I gave another condition 
which says if i is bigger or greater or equals 5 print i so what will be returned 5 6 7 8 9 0 to 9 because it's it not greater six, than seven, 5 eight, oh we include 5 oh wait because equals to or greater now Okay, can you write down yes, the number, gonna... Money? Just write it in the gonna... chat. And you also, Isaac, write down your number. Oh. Wait. Oops. Five to nine. Interesting. Okay, let's test it, guys. It says five, six, seven, I'm eight, a combo, nine. Yes? Oh, yes, Whoa. man. Amazing. Amazing. Perfect. Okay. So that was the condition, guys. So we had a for loop and an if condition. And this is the syntax of Python. You see, I just had to write here always one tap and then I got the code. Okay. And that's it, guys. So that was our lesson for today. Some algorithms here, basic algorithms from Python itself, like the for loop and the if condition. And even we even had a function call, which is the range. It, it just uses some code in the, in the back, which you don't see right now, but we can cover this another time. And yeah, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something. And um, I will, um, I have to benchmark or what I did right now, I, I benchmarked your uh, level of Python skills. So now I can come up with some tasks and then I will just write them in Discord so you can do them next week. And then we just uh, can, can have another call on, I think on Wednesday or something, and then just see uh, what you have done or if you came up with some questions and then we can just go, go through them. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. And then step by step, we'll get closer to build our own tool someday. You see? And the, the whole thing right now, it lasted like one hour. So you can see how much time you actually have to implement to do something like after it, you know? Yeah, like mm -hmm. you, you saw the whole thing, you had so many things running, you didn't even see anything anymore. But still, Arthur wasn't confused because he exactly knew what he is doing. And that's what you also need to understand, okay? So uh, thank you for joining. Thank you part uh, for participating. And if you have any questions, just hit us up in the selfdev.com or our uh, Discord uh, server. And yeah, thank you. See you next time, guys. Thank you, Long. Thanks, guys. Yo, Blazer is right. Free out today.